Hello. How to solve the system of equations here? Firstly, everyone can see that you need to find the requirements of the equations. Everyone look at that. When the square root of x square root of y square root of, of g, you have x, y, and g greater than greater than zero, right? Because when uh, x example x equals as x equals zero, everyone can see that minus square root of y equals one is undefined, right? So we need to find the require have the requirement here. So and then firstly you have for the case number one you need to assume assume x x is the smallest number of x y and g x the smallest number smallest number of x y n and g right so therefore we have i because at the smallest number you have i smaller than or equals or equals y right and then from equation one two and and three we can write x minus square root y equals one and y square root z equals equals one yes and then we also have everyone see x from equation here x equals one plus square root of the y right and y equals one plus square root of the z yes and we can replace x from here well, equals here and y from equals here for this so we have one plus square root of y right like that smaller than or equals y you need to write one plus square root of the z yes and then for this u equation we also have yes square root of the y smaller than or equals square root of square root of z yes because y and z greater than zero zero so we also have y smaller than or equals or equals z right yeah and relatively because we have y smaller than or equals or equals z Everyone can see if equation 2 and 2 and 3. We can have y minus square root of z equals 1 and z minus square root of x equals equals 1. Yes, we have. We have this. Right? So, relatively from this, we also have y equals 1 plus square root of square root of z and z equals 1 plus square root of x yes and y you need to write 1 plus square root of z of z smaller than or equal z 1 plus square root of, of x and then we have square root of z smaller than or equals square root of x and next one we also have square root of, sorry z smaller than or equals or equal x because everyone can see the requirement x y and z greater than greater than zero right so everyone can read right first we have this x smaller than or equals y right and we also y smaller than or equal z and and as well z smaller than or equal or equal x yeah we have it for one for one and nice one relatively we have case number two when assume y is the smallest smallest 
number of x, y, n, and z. Obsessive here, right? So we also have we also have have this one here. Yeah, we have. <clears throat> Firstly, y smaller than or equals or equal x, and then x smaller than or equals z. And next one, z smaller than or equals or equal y. Yes, you need to prove relatively from case one, right? So we have this, yeah. And so it is two. And next one for case three. Case three. Case three. You need to assume why is the why is the smallest number. Sorry, not why z of x, y, and z. Yes, we also have z smaller than or equals x and x smaller than or equals y and y smaller than or equals or equals g yes you need to have three everyone can see from one two and three from one two and three we have x equals y and n equals g yes and then everyone look at that the original equation we have x minus square root of y right equals equals one yes and we we need to have x minus square root of y equals x so you can write x and minus minus one equals equals zero equals zero here right you need to find the the solution of the equation so everyone can see x x minus square root of x minus one equals equals zero so therefore it's easy to find that right and everyone can see so we have the value of x square root of x equals minus b and plus b square minus 4 ac yes square over over 2 and nice one square root of x equals minus b minus b square minus 4 for ac and here square root over over 2 and and so minus b we have 1 right plus 1 minus 4 a we have 1 and times c minus 1 right so nice one we also have sorry one sorry b plus and over over two and is equals minus one minus one minus yes minus b plus square root of sorry plus four one times minus one right is equal over over two and now so is equals one plus square root of the five over over two and and here is equals one minus square root of five over over two right we have two values of square root of x so everyone can see when square root of x equals 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2 yeah and then we have x equals 
1 plus square root of 5 over over 2 and whole, whole power square so is equals 1 right 1 plus 2 square root of 5 and plus 5 over over 4 and then x equals 6 plus 2 square root of 5 over over 4 and x equals 3 plus square root of 5 over over 2 here right so we have the value of x equals 3 plus square root of 5 over over 2 and therefore we have x equals y equals g and equals 3 plus square root of 5 over over 2 yes and for this case here when square root of x equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 everyone can see that 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is smaller than 0 so it's un undefined undefined right so therefore you don't have the value of x from here yes it so is x equals y equals e equals 5 3 plus uh, square root uh, plus square root of 5 over 2 this is the solution right oh thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe my channel love you all bye bye